Hey Santa Cruz, it's Gene Bleeker again, and yes, you're watching The Real Estate Beat with Gene Bleeker and Jason Reno. Jason, you're doing a great job. I appreciate that, I'm passing the test. You're three for three. Perfect. And now we're gonna be four for four. Number for the cleanup Because we got the guy. There you go, we the man got the, the guy. Dan <laughs> Andresi, Keller Williams, VIP Properties, thanks for coming aboard. Thanks for having me, how you You've been on the show today? before. Yes, I have. Well, you brought him on. Yeah, you, I brought him on last time. You then know your talent. Me, right? I mean, he's a, he's a seasoned vet now. He's good, he's good. <laughs> So, so I'll let you take over. Well, I mean, basically, we want to have Dan on, obviously, to talk about the real estate market. I know you're out there with uh, with Stacy, um, who's part of your team, talking to sellers, door knocking. I mean, what do you see out there in the uh, in the market? You know, a lot of a lot of changes is pretty interesting. Um, we're seeing uh, some uh, a buildup of inventory in our local market here in Santa Clarita. Um, that is still putting us in the seller's market, but it's definitely giving the buyers a lot more options, taking some of the power away from the sellers. So. Uh, it's moving towards a balanced market, but we're definitely see home, seeing homes uh, sit on the market for extended periods of time, which by today's standards is you know 60 and 90 days instead of 30. <laughs> uh, and but most importantly, we have about a 200% increase in inventory over this time last year. So while the average buyer last year hypothetically had four houses to look at, mm -hmm. right now they have about uh, nine or ten to look at. Wow. So like anything, when there's higher supply that tends to dip into the value a little bit. So it's still a strong seller's market, but I think it's important for us sellers to remember that we are moving towards a more balanced market. So it's important to be priced right then. Obviously, if you're listening, you don't want to be priced out of Absolutely. the market and have nobody come look at your houses because they do have eight other options now, not one or two. Great point. Even in the most aggressive seller's market, you can always overprice a home and, and it won't sell. And so yeah, pricing is really everything. And then what about the different price points? Do, are you seeing this? Uh, this extended inventory or increased inventory, I'm sorry, I should say, um, you know, above and below 500,000? Is it, you know, kind of across the board or different price points? Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of that 500 number is kind of the, the big dividing line, it seems like. Of course, you know, you have different buyer groups that, you know, uh, uh, concentrate on their own price points, 600, 700, 300. But that, that hard line seems to be right around 500 right now. Uh, we're still getting a lot of in, uh, activity on the below 500s. Uh, and a little over 500, we're seeing them sit on the market a little bit longer. So. Now, let me, let me ask you about, I know last, uh, last year the big topic was uh, multiple offers. Mul yeah. Every house, you know, I was hearing from agents, oh, I got 50 offers on this house, I have to go through them tonight, I'm gonna be up all night. Are we still in that situation? Is there still a ton of offers, or is it one or two, like you said, back, uh, back more to a nor Great uh, normal market? Great question, though. Yeah, no, it really, it's really interesting. That kind of goes towards the increase in inventory and also towards the giant price jump that we had last year, which is great, but that also shrinks down our buyer pool. Um, you can speak to that in terms of interest rates, uh, shrinking down our buyer pool a little bit. And so we're not seeing the multiple offers that we were seeing last year. Uh, and that, you know, it's really important as a seller that you, you hire an agent who knows that and is not going to use last year's strategy of, hey, let's underprice it by a few thousand dollars and wait and sit back and get multiple offers. That strategy only works if you're getting a lot of buyer frenzy. And that's not the attitude out there right now. The buyers know that there's more to choose from and they're willing to take a little bit more time. Still a seller's market, but um, we're not seeing the frenzy and the multiple offers that we were last year. Now, let me ask you, um, you mentioned uh, an, an agent that really works for you. I mean, when you take a listing, what are you doing to market that listing? I mean, I know you've been telling me you're, you're out knocking doors, you're passing out flyers. I mean, you, you don't just list the property on MLS and let it go. I mean, what do you and your team do for somebody who lists with you? You know what, it, uh, we do it, a really extensive marketing campaign, one of the best out there. We spend a ton of time and a lot of money exposing these properties via online, via print. We still use print via social media, uh, the MLS, our agent networking groups, um, all of our different contacts in the Valley. Uh, you know, the, the idea is to get out, obviously get it out in front of as many people as possible, um, but really start to finish, uh, whether it's online, print, uh, we, we take a proactive approach to our marketing. And we go, we go into the MLS, we reverse prospect for people looking for homes, just like the one we just listed. And we are out knocking on doors, talking to people on a daily basis, uh, actively looking for a buyer for our listing on top of waiting for other agents to bring them to us. Which um, actually brings us right into right. the new listing. I mean, yeah. You came in here like a kid in a candy store all excited about your <laughs> oh. new listing. Why don't you tell us yeah. all about it? You know, that's a great part of our job is we get to work with some really great people and some great homes. And this is one of those properties. Uh, owners lived there for 14 years and she's retiring and moving on and has taken just such immaculate care of this house. Wow. Uh, it's in Northbridge, one of the most desirable parts of our uh, city, uh, Valencia. Uh, the Country Gate model, uh, one of the larger homes she's added on to. It. It's about 1,900 square feet. 
gorgeous spa in the backyard, uh, outdoor barbecue, huge entertainer's yard. And like I said, it's an immaculate condition, priced uh, really well at five fifty eight, and just some really super people. And the buyer that ends up with this house is going to really get a property that's been well taken care of. And I can speak firsthand on the area, but the uh, just the amenities in that area, the pool, the you're right close to the shopping centers. I mean, it really is one of the uh, best yeah. locational areas here. In, uh, Absolutely, in all the all the community pools, the tennis courts, uh, HOA is like forty dollars a month, and you get all that. Plus, the schools are, are Blue Ribbon California Distinguished Schools, uh, Helmers Elementary, etc. Uh, yeah, the buyer for this home is going to be real happy. That's so. amazing. Any final words before uh, we before we sign off? No, I appreciate the opportunity for uh, to thanks sit, for coming down with you guys. Good seeing you again, Jason. Oh, you no. as well. It's great to see all you right. too, Santa Creta. What Jason and I, we like to bring to the table is knowledge. And we know that knowledge is power when it comes to real estate. And putting Dan and Dreesey and other great people in front of you, that's what our goal is. That's what our commitment is to the Santa Cruz community. And I hope you got a lot out of it, because we sure did. Great people, great real estate, great knowledge. You know what? And that's what makes our city so beautiful. That's all for now. We'll be in touch. We'll see you soon. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Furnishings and decor for Real Estate Beat with Gene Bleeker provided by local staging and design company Style My Space. Whether you're staging to sell or dwell, give Santa Clarita's number one design resource a call today.